Hey everyone, Brian with Virginia Outdoors talking today about three different types of kayaks. We got the Wilderness Systems Tarpon 120, the Bonafide SS 127, and the Hobie Mirage Outback. Uh, all three are 12 foot models, different uh, capabilities, different storage, different seating. Uh, we'll get into the details of each and I'll tell you what I think. So you got the Wilderness Systems Tarpon 120, Bonafide SS 127 and the Hobie Mirage Outback 2018 model, 2020 model, 2021 model. All 12 feet, though some variations to that. Specs are in the description below, uh, as well as weights and so forth. But you've got arguably the lightest of the three, intermediate, and the heaviest. Uh, both the Tarpon and the Outback, I can get out of the truck without any issue, pick it up uh, using the handles. The Bonafide, much, much heavier. Definitely uh, not something you're picking up uh, as easily as the other two. So that comes into play when you think about how easy it is to get kayaks in and out of trucks or on top of um, a vehicle, SUV, or a car. Uh, you got to think about how you're going to uh, get to the waters that you're fishing, how you're actually going to get the kayak on and off without killing yourself. So some of the other things to look at are the seating. So the 120 has a recessed seat uh, molded in, but your hips are lower than your knees, and that can make for a long day on the water, especially if uh, you've got long legs like I do, being 6'1". Bonafide is in a high position, much more comfortable seat, as you can see all three of them, uh, and the, the Hobie Outback is in a high position as well. But you see the difference in the three, Bonafide being one of the uh, better seats in the industry, I think. Um, Hobie, uh, I think, could certainly make some improvements to it overall. Uh, but I think in, if you're talking about fishing all day long, the Wilderness Systems is definitely a harder one uh, to stay in all day. Getting in and out of the kayaks, bigger guy like me, I better be shallow with the 120. The other two, much easier, much more stable. Uh, being able to stand up in them, I'm not even going to attempt it. And the Tarpon 120, Bonafide and Hobie, no issues whatsoever. Uh, so very stable platforms, great for sight fishing, whether you're inshore chasing some redfish or whether you uh, are out trying to find some bedded bass in the springtime. Uh, great platforms for that. All of them have a front hatch. All go into the interior of the kayak. You can get different liners, uh, rigid and soft liners for all of them to keep things dry and so forth. Um, seen different guys store rods up underneath when traveling. Uh, a lot of times I'm fishing seven to seven and a half foot rods. It's just not something I'm gonna wrestle with. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of it a different way. Uh, the Bonafide actually is one of the nicer ones in that the bar underneath the seat, I can rest the rod butts on there and with the grooved hatch, the rods just lay flat. And I can just use these two uh, anchor points here on either side and run a bungee across and then a bungee across the seat, keep everything in place. So I do like that the, the best of the Bonafide. For the gear tracks, You've got the 120 that has gear tracks on both sides. Bonafide has gear tracks all around, GoPro mounts, paddle uh, holders, and so forth. Outback, up front, their A trail, as well as gear tracks on both sides, gear tracks on both sides in the back. And all of them have uh, gear tracks on the back side, including the Tarpon uh, 120. We've also added on the Bonafide additional gear tracks. Uh, especially here, I'm not a, a guy that can stand up there, so I've cut the pads and put gear tracks on both sides. So I like that and being able to customize and add rod holders and so forth, especially this um, the dual rotor grips on the side for holding a paddle uh, offset, keeps it out of the cockpit area. I think a safety feature that needs to be talked about is internal access from the seated position. So as you see, we got a little bit of water in there still. 
but I have access to the internal part of the kayak from the seated position. The same is true from the Hobie. Just being able to pop this uh, compartment out that that uh, been out of there, I can get to the inside. I can't do that with um, the Bonafide at all. That's important if you're fishing bigger lakes or inshore saltwater. You take some waves over the front. These hatches, they say, are watertight, but water gets in, as you can see on the 120. With those two, I can pump them out with a hand bilge. I can't do that with a Bonafide. The only way you can do that with a Bonafide is to access the main hatch up front, and that gets a little squirrely if you're in some rougher water trying to get up there and pump out, especially if you're a few hundred yards from shore. So safety-wise, the other two have great access points. The Bonafide struggles a little bit with that. Um, being able to carry, I think Bonafide up front, strongest grips, best grips. I do not like the front pull here as much as I do the full handle, but I still like it better than what the uh, Tarpon 120 has. On the back, you've got similar grips as to the front. Bonafide has a recessed one and the Hobie has quite a large one on the back. So easy to carry uh, each of these different models. The tank well, I think the Outback has the largest along with Bonafide. The 120 small and narrow. Get a cooler in there but a crate, most standard crates are not fitting unless it's just your basic uh, milk carton or uh, milk crate. But again Three different price points, three different platforms, three different capabilities. The 120 is fantastic on smaller lakes, rivers, and so forth, uh, whereas the other two are great all around. Speed-wise, the 120 is fast, tracks very well, turns well. The Bonafide, due to its weight, takes a little bit to get going, but it it is horrible from a tracking perspective without adding modifications whether that be a rudder or uh, the uh, fins for the back uh, whereas the Outback uses a uh, an integrated rudder with steering on both sides which is nice plus they're independent so if the cable breaks on one the other is still going to work so far better maneuverability and speed plus being 85 pounds or so the Outback you know, turns rather quickly compared to the Bonafide. Um, the Bonafide overall is very, very stable. It is very good in rough water as well. It's just, at times, acts like a brick. Where the wilderness systems is great, very nimble, but it lacks some of the stability that you would see in the others, but still fantastic. And it's not, you know, three different price points with kind of good, better, best, or beginner versus advanced. It's really, where is it the most applicable? What is the greatest uh, uh, capability? Uh, very thin uh, 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 draft on the 120, so great for shallow water inshore. But if it's choppy or got, got a little bit of uh, swells, I'm gonna skip the 120 and push over to one of the other uh, platforms, probably the Outback overall. But again, I think they're all great platforms, different capabilities overall. Uh, storage, there is very little storage on the 120. I've added the insert here, and you've got you know these side hatches. Uh, throw some stuff under the seat, possibly, but very limited. Uh, the Bonafide has the tripod, which is very nice. It's removable. I have another one, a second pod, that has the fish finder and everything mounted to it with the transducer underneath. So I can simply pop the whole thing out, self-contained battery, everything. The Bonafides have a nice uh, junk tray up underneath the seat for keeping uh, all kinds of soft plastics, uh, boxes, etc. So very nice. Um, the Outback, as I said, has this integrated uh, bin on the inside. 
uh, mesh here uh, and on the sides for storing boxes. Plus, Plano boxes will fit inside here. You've got the bungee, pulls up, slides into the atrium, locks it in place. So, very nice. A little bit of storage underneath, but does not have the junk tray like the bona fide does, which is real nice. Uh, so, I think in terms of being able to add accessories, both the Bonafide and the Hobie Outback are fantastic. Uh, great at doing that, allowing you to customize the platform. So in the end, you need to think about how you're going to fish, where you're going to fish, how you're going to take your kayak to the water, uh, whether your rooftop, back of the truck, or trailer, weight plays a factor, how long you intend to fish, and how that seating is going to impact your ability to fish all day. Uh, so think about these things as you go out and purchase an X-Kayak.